Hello, uh, I just thought I'd make a, a video here on I'm fitting the uh, door handles on a Corsa D just after a fresh respray. But on fitting the door handles, I came across the same problem on the passenger passenger side and I found a fix on how I got around it so I thought I'd make a video for the driver's side. So y you know yourself, I'm, I'm taking, the, taking them out. First you've got the, the little key barrel that sits here and you pop off that cover and you unscrew this torx, I'm not sure what the torx size is, but it's one of those torx anyways. And then this comes out, the little keyhole uh, guy comes out, and you, you screw this in clockwise, and then this handle pops out. Now that's not the problem having, the problem having is getting it back in. So, obviously, it's the exact reversal to put it back in, so I have this screwed all the way in. And this should just pop in, but doesn't matter what I do, it doesn't pop in. Now, I'm not sure if you can see just inside, and it's not going to focus, but just in here, there's a little guy that opens the door, and you can open the door without the handle, that's, you put on the ring end, there's a 11 spanner, I drew a 10 would work too, just put it in, and there we go, the door's open, but this is my fix on how I got the handle in. Now the problem is, is this part of the handle should hoop in round, behind that guy lamp on with the spanner and that's what opens your door. But the problem is I can't get this in round. So this is the, the, the solution that I've come up with. Here I have a piece of wire tied in a knot, like a little loop and I'm putting it in round. And I'm just pulling I'm just pulling on the the pulling on him out like this. See how he's pulled out there? And now I'm going to slip in the handle behind it. Bear in mind, I'll need two hands, so I'll have to stop video. Now I've got them in, but the wire's still in there. So now the handle's working as it should. It's sitting where it should be sitting. But now well, what you have to do is pull this out and cut it with them, some wire clippers. So now with a pair of wire clippers, when upon pulling the handle out, you will see just... Uh, apologies too if it's, uh, if it's out of focus here. Because I'm in direct sunlight and I can't see what the phone's doing. But what you'll need to do now is just cut that wire out. Bear in mind, you do not want to leave any wire in the door. So I'll just cut that wire out there now. Okay, the wire cut out and I have nothing in the door. And now I finally get the handle in. Before I could not, no matter what I did, I could not get the handle in. And I fast about over on the passenger side for about 20 minutes before I thought of this little trick. So hopefully it'll help someone out. And I'll put on now the little uh, key barrel. So here I am ready now to fit this uh, key barrel and now currently to get this handle in you'll have this torque screw screwed in all the way clockwise but to get it uh, to get it uh, the key barrel in you'll have to unscrew the screw fully anti-clockwise so to the left fully loosen it. So with the screw fully anti-clockwise I was able to slip this in and my spanner just fell out but it's just a matter now of uh, screwing it in clockwise another few turns until this stays in place. As you can see it's loose, but it's just another uh, few turns now and it'll stay in place. Okay, now it's just a matter of screwing this in clockwise again and keep trying the handle until it, it, it fully, uh, it's got its, its full movement. Because if it's not uh, screwed in fully, well, after you put this in, the handle will only come to here and it'll feel as if the, the car is locked almost. So now we've got a fully functioning handle. Perfect, and it's just a matter of replacing this little cap. With a little cap replaced, that's it, uh, today's video fully finished. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I appreciate it uh, if, it, if you would uh, let me know if it helped you. Um, hopefully it has helped somebody. I'm not sure if anybody else comes across this problem, but I did. And that's uh, <laughs> that's uh, just wet sand and marks. Don't worry, that's not overspray. <laughs> uh, don't tend to have masking. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope it helped.